Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Zephyr and Ev the Smev on Dash and Terminal, the latter edition. I feel like these games are loading really, really fast lately. Maybe it was the update that I downloaded tonight. Mm, I'm not sure if that's it, but that's my hypothesis for now. In the right side of Dash and Terminal, the latter edition, we have the Red Protoss player. It is Zephyr. And the topish of Dash and Terminal, we have the Blue Terran player, Ev the Smev. All right, so this actually reminds me, God, what was that map back in Wings of Liberty ladder where you had the player spawning here and the player spawning here, and the only way to get to each other was way down around and up. Or Mutalisks could fly across in like half a second. It was a lot closer than this, I think. Man, I can't remember what that map name was called. If you remember, go and tell me in the comments. But Zephyr actually going for double assimilator with three workers in each gas. Again, this could be Adept. This could be Stargate. This could be a Blink Stalker push. Um, I think it's going to be one of those three things, though. Blink Stalkers do pretty well against Zerg players. With the Lurkers, I'm not sure it's so great. Uh, I said Zerg. This is Terran. Against Terran can be really good. Ev the Smith actually taking this gold, which is a little bit exposed, I think. Is this a land bridge that you can just follow? That's really shaky. Yeah, just kind of across from your own gold base. So again, gold bases are always risky to take, but Ev the Smith says, I'm going to take that risk. Slow it down just a little bit here because we're going to get the cybernetics core up. And what's the answer going to be? A Nexus. So we're expanding behind this crazy lots of gas play. We are chrono boosting out our warp gate. What the heck is the Terran player doing? Barracks into factory, into, again, command center at the gold. And three workers in each of his refineries, or her refineries, getting a tech lab. And then a starport. And another factory. So are we going mech against Protoss and Legacy of the Void? That would be interesting. I would like to see that. Here we go, more gateways being added on. Still not showing us the tech of choice, and there it is. There's the Twilight Council. Could be used for Blink Stalkers, could be used for Dark Templar as well but probably not going to go air we're not going to see that here in this tvp and what on earth is the terran player doing and starport just about to finish factory making a tank all right so tanks are good uh, making reapers what on earth three and a half minute reapers almost four minute reapers look how far you have to go to get to that gold base all the way down and then all the way back up again here we'll follow these guys hi ho hi ho it's off to work we go. And are there words after that or just whistling? I think it's just do 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 hi ho. Hi ho hi ho hi ho. It's really not the most creative lyrics from Disney, but what do you do? Snow White was back like in the 40s, right? 40s, 50s, super long, way before I was born and you thought I was old. All right, so Starport getting a reactor. Liberator maybe? Ooh. Liberator tank widow mine reaper. This is a weird strategy by Ev the Smev. All right, so Reapers are here. Again, at the four minute and 30 second mark, I can't help but feel like they're late because uh, there is obviously a Mothership core out. We're probably gonna have cannons up. Stalkers are probably out as well. Actually, do we have any Stalkers? No, what on earth? 30 probes and one Mothership core for Zephyr. Holy smoke, Zephyr. Where are... I don't understand. All right, so there's a single Stalker now. Where is that stalker? Yes, the stalker just popped in. That's enough to chase away these reapers, like I was saying. Not chase them away for good, though. Let's see as they try to sneak around the backside. Be very, very sneaky. Oh, but a stalker warps in. There's another stalker. There are probes going down, though, and but one of the... Ugh, photon overcharge takes down. Final hit on that reaper. It ends up dead. Its body scoots up the ramp. It did make it to the promised land. It did make it into the main, but only after it was dead. Sadly enough for that Reaper. Gold base, I think, is going to help Ev the Smev a little bit. Oh, as well as that third command center that Ev is making. I just feel like Ev the Smev has the bigger army, has more economy than Zephyr does. Again, I feel like the gold is probably the reason for that. We are getting Storm. Are we doing a Templar rush? This is crazy talk. Gateways are being made into those warp gates that all Protoss players love so very, very much. Uh-oh, Cyclones. I forgot about Cyclones. How did I forget about Cyclones? Cyclones are incredible against everything, Terran. I think it's even good in TVT, though I haven't actually seen that yet. But man, Cyclones with a lock-on ability doing 500 damage. Where's my lock-on ability? That's a siege tank. Lock-on ability, 540 damage over 14 seconds. Can move while firing. It has crazy range. I'm not sure what the official range is. I don't 
think it's really stated anywhere that I've seen, but man, it's crazy how far it is. Okay, so kind of an eclectic mix here from Ev the Smev. We have Marines and Widow Mines and Tanks and Cyclones and Medivacs and Reapers. And I think the Reapers are actually all dead. He hasn't bothered to remake them. No, Ev has not bothered to make those. He or she is not interested in doing that again. Another base coming up for Ev. Basically, no pressure whatsoever for the Protoss player. Um, I mean, I guess you'd probably want to see Blink Stalkers coming out if you have Blink and you don't have blink i forgot about that we're researching zealot legs zealot charge so in legacy of the void when you have so many things available you're gonna go high templar zealot with zealot charge and stalkers with no blink i'm not sure how i feel about this major drop though on the way from ev what is in those medivacs if there are cyclones in there i'm gonna be scared nope what am I? oh there are a couple cyclones here we go, dropping in. What's lock on going to target is the question. They're pretty much just using their regular attacks. The tank drops in, doing massive damage to those cannons. All these probes are forced to run away. Actually, burying those widow mines, I think, did a lot of friendly fire. If we're entirely honest, using lock on on this nexus with a single cyclone and doing the drop micro with the tank. I don't know if this is going to work. Snipe down, snipe down. Oh, the medevac does go down. And can this single wounded cyclone actually take down an entire nexus by itself no it cannot photon overcharge is up chasing the medevacs away blinks or not blink stalkers regular stalkers scuttle over there try to see what they can do but that's it so i'm not sure how effective that was again i feel like the widow mines killed more of their own units than anything else uh four kills one kill zero kill one kill four kill yeah so i mean they did okay they probably killed a bunch of drones or probes rather 20 probes died yikes Ooh, big widow mine hit there. Poor probe. We're trying to make probes. Uh, Zephyr is, and not actually being aware that unfortunately there are a million <laughs> burrowed widow mines here that are killing your probes as they come out, like so. Uh, probes getting hit by widow mines don't actually die. They just vaporize. I think there's nothing left of them because widow mines hit so hard. Bases are up for Ebb the Smev though. Two, three, and barracks, barracks, barracks. We're switching away from the cyclone composition into a massive barracks. We do have a single cyclone. Is that the one that we picked up and ran away with? Yeah, we have three. I guess we have three, and one of them is super hurt. Two of them are just fine. Are they all right here? Mm, they must be all right here. I just can't see them all because of stuff's in the way. Yeah, there's the one, there's the two, and there's the siege tank. Nope, 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 three. Okay. Fair enough, lowering the supply depot, Ev the Smev is on the way out. We're not going to drop this time. We really have to deal with these Widow Mines, Zephyr. Zephyr, get an Observer. You can't get an Observer. Get, um... Um, you do pretty much just abandon mining at this base. Is that what you're doing? Yes, I think that's what they're doing. Oh, there's the Photon Cannon coming up. There we go. Scanning for the Photon Cannon is nice. Widow Mines running around, leaving one behind to deal with any probes that are here. And there's nothing here. Oh my gosh, no Zephyr. Zephyr, no. Run your probes away. We did get one, two of the Widow Mines, but absorbing the hits are the Zealots. That's actually really good news for Zephyr. You don't want your probes to die. Uh, zealots dying instead is pretty much ideal at this point. And finally placing down a Photon Cannon. Kind of. Bringing a probe all the way from up here to do it. This guy has... How does he have zero kills? I thought he was sneaky and left behind. He has zero kills. All right, no big deal. Moving all the probes back up here. Oh my gosh. No. No. Ugh. Only three? That was surprising. There were a lot of probes there. All right, what of mine's alive regardless. These guys are still alive too. But the photon cannon is just about to finish. And it can detect things and can hit things. Excellent. Oh, what of mine hits came up for no reason there. Taking out mm, most of the health on these zealots. I don't think they actually got a kill, but man, F this map with 60 harvesters to 29 for Zephyr. This harassment has been insane. Let's look at all these medevacs. Lots of medevacs, lots of marines. Uh, another cyclone here as well. Not much being produced off these many, many barracks that have made with 3,000 minerals and 400 gas, 500 gas in the bank. Probably should start using that. There we go. Making a million marines because marines are good units. Constructing a missile turret in the middle of nowhere just in case an observer tries to fly over and randomly chooses this path. It will die. That is for sure. Another base again. Pretty well saturated. Most of these are mules though. The mules do expire. And that's it. And building more missile turrets. Pretty much putting a wall of missile turrets. He doesn't want warp prism harassment to come bother Ev. 
Um, Ev is not interested in that happening to their base. Warp prisons are kind of scary. Dang it, back to the production tab. Sorry about that. Nothing much being produced for Zephyr. If I just have to say, this game is probably gold level. Maybe a little lower. I don't know. Zephyr has no idea what they're doing, but here we come. Oh no, we're burning down all the medevacs. Yes, all the medevacs can be destroyed. Accidentally flying over the Archons and the Stalkers. Losing a ton of stuff. It's down to 154 to 98. Basically, Zephyr says, I do not care about anything. You can drop on my base all you want, all day long. My arm is going to stay right here. I'm going to warp in more zealots at this forward pylon. And here we come. I think we're going to see a base trade here. Yep. This base is going to die for sure. Ev the Smev coming on out, sniping down pylons. Using the lock-on ability on a pylon for some reason. Seems like overkill. This base is going to die. There is literally nothing to save it here. If you burrow widow mines, you might kill more stuff. Again, oh, at the top of the ramp is Ev in excellent position. Can we storm on that? You have Templar. There we go. The huge storm on top of all of the bio forces them to run away, but then stacking back up to another place. Another big storm, though, and all of Ev the Smev's stuff. This Archon cleaning things up. We are now in the main base. For this Zephyr and Widow Mines burrowing again. I think might have done a little bit more friendly fire than anything else, but that's it. Ev the Smev killing everything. You do not want to base race a Terran unless you have units that can kill air. And I don't think Zephyr does. Kiting back these Zealots. Pretty good micro here from Ev. I'm not sure where that was back at the main base, but probably the attention was down here at the time. Widow Mines running in. They're going to try to burrow, but there are cannons in the way. Small group left for Ev. Going to try to burn down these cannons before they take too many casualties. Using Stim to do that, being killed up by the medevacs and a couple more volleys. And yes, that photon cannon does go down. Everything dying here in the main, though. And are we actually a little confused as what we're killing? Yeah, here we go. Some marauders pop out here. They immediately get evaporated by the Archons. Archons are pretty good units, especially with plus two attack. Good upgrades there, Zephyr. Taking down this Nexus as well. And all that's left is going to be the main for Zephyr. There's really nothing here at all. This is a true base race. Lift off, Ev. You can lift off, and this base is also up, making a yep, planetary fortress. Very smart choice here. Look at all these mules mining. Ev has 4,000 and 2,000 resources. 4,000 minerals, 2,000 gas. But all that's left here is a couple marauders and a couple marines. I feel like if he came back... I, I just still doesn't know about this base, though. Zephyr has no idea that's there, right? Oh, no, it does know it's there. did see the refineries. Okay. So, fair enough. So, three marines... Yeah, I just feel like if Zephyr came back with the army, they could probably wipe out um, Ev's army and maybe get back on their feet. But no, instead, going to take out command centers, take out refineries, do everything possible to try and win this game. And Photon Cannon does actually get a kill. I heard a Marine die there. And another one actually dies. One more hit. Yes. So Marines actually dying to the Photon Cannons. How many upgrades do we have? 1-1 one, one on the Marines. Cyclone has 1-1 one, one as well. So 20 damage with the Typhoon Missile Pod fairly standard stuff gonna take out this base which is not really mining anything but gas but sure whatever i still haven't seen ev lift off a single building taking a nexus over here oh sneaky nexus sepher very sneaky indeed can we take down this nexus is it gonna explode into a million pieces yes indeed it does tanks going to town on these uh warp gates without actually using siege mode so 17 damage instead of like the 125 or whatever it is for siege tanks uh forge goes down other forge on the way to die as well where's the army yeah this is zephyr on the way back trying to save it oh these marines are all alone and get sniped out of existence get melted by the archons there we go there's siege mode coming up we are just going for it zephyr gets right on top of those tanks burns them down marines marauders in a huge bit of trouble and are we gonna pick up tries to pick up but no Storming right on top of those Widow Mines. Leave the Widow Mines alone. That's not a big deal. That's what you should have done a while ago, Zephyr. You had the army composition to destroy that. Did anybody escape? Did anybody escape with their lives? No. I think the army, entire army of Ebb the Snev actually died there. Uh, yep, there are four Widow Mines and 17 SCVs available for Ev. And making a million barracks. So that's good. There's a factory as well. Can we find it, though, is the question. No, we don't know this is there, <laughs> Zephyr. You got to scout a little bit better, buddy. Um, either way, using gateways, not as much money in the bank. And how many? Four? Four total probes. Where are the probes, though? One is there for some reason. There's one with his army. 
No. Where? Oh, they're down here. They're not rallied. Zephyr, you need to be mining. Come on, mine, mine, mine. All right, whatever. So we're taking down residual buildings. Here, here's a tip, everybody. Pro tip for players in Legacy of the Void and StarCraft in general. If the game does not say the other player is being revealed, they have a command center or a nexus or a hatchery somewhere. So the fact that Zephyr has not seen the message that Ev the Smev is being revealed tells you there's a command center somewhere on the ground, so you have to go find it. Because if you don't, you're gonna die, because look at all these barracks. We're actually taking the time to put tech labs and reactors on these. How many supply? No, we're, we're maxed out on supply. And so we can't really build anything until we take care of that problem. Uh, getting supply depots actually would have been nice. Zephyr doesn't know what to do. Zephyr's like, look, man, I took out the whole base. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing left but a couple supply depots and refineries. Oh, did he scout this out? Oh, he might have scouted this out and been killed by the planetary. Yep, the planetary killed it. So can we take down a planetary with a bunch of supply block marauders guarding it. It's gonna be very, very close, that is for sure. But we're gonna give it a shot. Are we just gonna play defense? You can't play defense. There's so much more money for Ebb the Snap. Here we go. Marching up the ramp, and it's kind of a block, actually. This is kind of, it's like a Great Wall of China here. Uh, oh boy. Eventually it's gonna start popping out of these, and then you're gonna be in trouble. Nope, the Marines say, I need to actually consolidate my forces. Yeah, Marines Marauders are popping out at an alarming rate. At least in Zephyr's opinion. This Zealot does have pretty good upgrades. Sniping down this storm, I think, killed the Zealot before it killed the Marauder. Unfortunately, Flames coming out of the back there. We're making tanks. Did I see tank come out there? Yes. Tanks in siege mode and defensive positions. One, two, three. This does not look good for our Protoss friend. If you root for Protoss, you may want to avert your eyes. Either way, are we taking hits? Man, we're taking active tank fire. Move that Archon away, Zephyr. Zephyr, move it away. Nope, react. I guess we're just worried about taking down these barracks, which is nice, I guess. But nope, there goes your Archon to the tank fire. This one's probably going to die to tank fire as well very quickly. Yep, evaporates. Big storm, actually, taking down the thing. But I think the tanks are what's going to win this. Uh, forever the Smev. 23 workers to one is also nice. Oh, man, the Woodamine Burrows took out a lot of workers here. At the same time, there's no detection available. We can storm where we think those widow mines are. I think we can see like a smudge in the ground. Yeah, I think that exactly corresponds to where they are. Yep. Either way, Zephyr calls the GG, and that's it. Evdismev says GG. Zephyr's defeated. Evdismev is victorious. One last widow mine, widow mine hit for your enjoyment if you're a Terran player, and that's it. So this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another subscriber submitted Legacy of the Void cast. Thank you so much for watching. You can catch me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.